Alright, welcome to today's video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share so more people see this content. And uh, hit that bell notification icon if you want to be alerted to see more content when it comes out. It's been a while since I drove one of these. Naturally, I jumped in it and uh, just went at it here. Um, taking all this stuff down by our storage pods where we store excess lumber. So if we ever need something, it's there. And there we go. On that rough surface there, part of it tipped over and uh, didn't want to go where I wanted it to. So we'll worry about it later and just drop it back there. It's all got to be organized anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. I'd go ahead and try to push it on with hydraulic power, but it wasn't doing it, so we had to uh, do it by hand, kind of. Throw that one out. I had nails, and it was all bent and messed up. And run this down to our scrap pile. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, fall off when I go through the mud puddle. Oh, and it fell off anyways. Great. My cousin Jordan doesn't seem to uh, have any caution to this large machine. So the other three houses that need cleaned up are on the far side of the neighborhood. So there's quite the drive between. But that's okay. I was going to pick that pile up, but there's a truck in the way. So we'll start with this pile over here. And as you can see... The theme of today is nothing likes to sit on the forks correctly and has to be restacked every time. It's okay. We're going to probably skip ahead here after I load this. And there it is. Everything's loaded nicely, and I'm going to proceed to go back across the neighborhood. Mind you, this is about 30 feet wide here. Um, some of the long stuff is. And it was quite the balancing act getting it through the neighborhood, not hitting any mailboxes, light poles, cars, buildings, all of the above. The, the next one's a doozy here because I have to go over that guard shack because I'm too wide. We'll go ahead and take the scenic route that probably doesn't have cars on the road. Most of this part of the neighborhood is finished. Oh, there's Jordan again, just driving around in circles, watching me do what I do. He likes to get in the way anytime he can. Go ahead and set all this down there nicely. And uh, head back over there. This thing was a little bit faster. I would have taken. <clears throat> now that truck's out of the way, we can go ahead and pick this little pile up here. First, I'm going to spread the forks apart. Which is, uh, they're slightly stuck a little bit took a little bit of doing 
Hopefully they'll be a little bit more stable now. And just like every load I've taken so far, nothing stacked correctly to just be picked up. And has needed to be restacked, which is a lot of fun. Here we go to the next pile, which is right at the front of this house here. Boom. This is going to be another uh, 30 foot wide one or so. It's going to be a lot of fun to get back over to my lumber spot. Here we go on that fun journey. As you can see, the stack isn't as stable as I would like it to be. And I think it's slightly wider than the last one. I had to go way up to get over a couple little trees there. Now when it comes up to this here... I really didn't want to go over those cars, so I flagged the people and have them move them. I'm still having to go high to go over some trees on the side. And of course, we're going to come up on that guard shack where I have to lift it up super high to get over it. Super sketch. And then I've been running this route around the neighborhood, so there's not as many cars parked on the side of the road when I go this way. Works out pretty good. You can see me messing with the uh, tilt angle of the machine here to try to uh, make it uh, a little bit more stable with it tilted to the one side. Just like that, everybody moves out of your way when you're coming. It's perfect. Pretty rough through that spot there. I'm going to go back for one more load of some 2x4 studs, and uh, that will uh, conclude this video here. If everyone goes ahead and uh, likes this video, let's say we get like a thousand likes or something like that, I will... Video record myself driving an excavator and post it on to the old YouTube and Facebook and whatnot. I was going to pick up their uh, scraps left over from them roofing, but I'll do that on another day. They're not done making garbage yet. Throw that in there and uh, grab this other wood here. You guys uh, have a great day. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Share it with your friends so I get more exposure. Thanks.
have a great day.